Welcome to Memorial Cooking Innovations. I'm Tim Scallon, Registered Dietitian. And I'm Manuel Marini, Executive Chef. Okay, so Chef Manny, you know, whenever we develop these recipes, we get everything just like we like it, and then I do this nutritional analysis because I want to make sure that we're within our uh, healthy guidelines. And so this time, uh, we finished and I did the analysis, and we were well below our sodium guideline. And so I went back to Chef Manny and I said, well, do you want to do a... Do you want to add a little bit more salt because we're under our sodium? And you know what he said? He said, well, you know, I just don't think we need it. I think, I think the recipes exactly. are good. And so I, I told you, I've got to tell everyone that in this case, the chef was telling the dietitian not to use more salt. And that's a good one, huh? Yeah, yeah. But you know, the good thing about this recipe is that we can add that pinch. Yeah, you know, we can add it. Yeah. But it's not like taking it away. Yeah, so. and, it, and we don't really need it in this one. No. Okay, so sh tell us what we're so doing today. Today we're going to do a nice uh, blackened tuna. Ooh. You know, tuna, catfish, uh, your favorite fish. Okay. Um, we chose an ahi tuna, uh, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do a nice stir fry. But you know how you normally do a nice fried rice or something okay. like that? We're yeah. actually going to use barley All right. as, a, as a rice substitute, okay? So this is something fun, different, because... When I told you, let's do it, you're like, mm. Wasn't too sure about this, but you know, I was with you on the yeah, barley. sure. Okay. So then we'll do that, and then we're gonna do a nice chocolate peanut butter bar. Ooh, just in time for Valentine's Day. Just in time for Valentine's. Okay, so what are we doing <clears throat> first? So first we're gonna mix our blackened ingredient now. Yep. The recipe, basically it's all this right here. Mm -hmm. Now, we're, gonna, we're actually gonna do what, use what we need and put the rest of it up. Use okay. a nice little container okay. so we can okay. put it back in our pantry, okay? Okay. So it calls for a little bit of paprika. A little paprika, okay. A little paprika, what is it? Two tablespoons, uh, if I'm not mistaken? Let's see, yes. Okay, two tablespoons of paprika. Actually, sorry, four. Four, four okay, tablespoons. good. Yeah, yeah. So we got here. And you know, when you're in, uh, when you eat out, you have to beware of blackened seasoning because a lot of times it's just too high in sodium. But this is a low sodium version. This is a low sodium. It just and, has a, a pinch of salt. And this is something, well, we didn't buy it. You can buy it, but keep yeah. an, again, keep an eye on that sodium. Mm -hmm. Now, cayenne pepper, that's yeah. a tricky one, okay? Yeah, yeah. So what is it called for? You just want two teaspoons of that. Two teaspoons, so we'll do this. Now, okay. add a little bit more. You know, more, more, more spicy. A lot spicier, yes. Yeah. And then we got what do we have for on the on your garlic? You've got now this one right here is the mustard. Mustard. You have uh, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. So we're gonna mm -hmm. do two tablespoons. And again, we're all, we're not when when it's time for us to crust our tuna. Mm -hmm. It's it's based on what you preference, right? Yeah. Your preference. Yeah. Okay. Whether you like it heavy or light, you know. Okay. And we got some time. Time. Uh, we always have plenty of time. This is four teaspoons. Four teaspoons, so yeah. equivalent to two of these, okay. okay. White pepper? White pepper is, wait, don't tell me, two teaspoons. Two, okay. You don't want to use too much. Of, you don't you want got, to use You too have much. two peppers here. Exactly, so, okay. so I'm going to go ahead and put that. I can add a little bit more later. Yep. yep. Okay. Now we're talking about garlic. Garlic is four, so wait, don't tell me. Five tablespoons of garlic. Good, because I like garlic. Yeah, me too. You know, garlic is the spice of life. There Voila. we go. Ooh, that's going to be good. Yeah. Okay. And then see, right. did we get everything? Let's see. We got paprika, we got cayenne, everything. garlic, onion, uh, thyme, white pepper, oregano, mustard, and just a pinch of salt. And I got the salt here just in case yeah. we need it, okay? Okay. All so right. we're good. So now I'm just going to go ahead and toss this around, Tim. And, and you know how uh, normally we're promoting fresh herbs over dry. But in this application, this is a good reason to use the, the powder because it's going to make it for, for uh, putting a light breading on that tuna, it'll, it'll just work better. And so this is a good example of how there's a time to use dry seasonings, huh? It is. And this, this is a good one. Mm -hmm. When you make something like this, you do want to make a little extra, put it on mm -hmm. the side because there's a lot of things that you can do with this, not yeah. just blackening chicken or fish yeah. or or beef, because you could also sprinkle it in some salad dressings or something oh, like that, you know? that's a good idea. So, I mean, yeah. it's good, and it's low sodium. You know, one thing, I've learned, a lot. one thing I've learned from working with you, Chef Manny, is, you know, all the times that I ate bought salad dressings, and I never realized how easy they were to make. You it know? is. Very simple. I mean, let's say, for instance, you get your nice low sodium, low fat ranch dressing at the store, or you yep. made it yourself. Yeah. But by having a little 
this. It's more this, it'll give it a nice little Adaptation. Cajun yeah. ranch dressing. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about that, Tim? That sounds great. All right, so okay, I got so me my nice little tuna here. Ooh, that's beautiful. So. You know, here in, in East Texas, tuna was always a, a canned fish. But, uh, but. If you don't mind, th Tim, this hold is not this for a canned fish. What I want to do is okay. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of this on top of it, if okay. you don't mind. Okay. Right, let me, I'm going to flip it over, okay? Yep. I'm going to pat it real good. Yep. Because the, the final, I'm just going to mm -hmm. turn this over a little bit it's beautiful. with your help. Mm -hmm. All righty. Okay. Put this, this is the other yep. hand here. I'm yep. just going to put a little bit more, and then our, our oil is getting hot right now. Yep. It's smoking nice and neat. And like mm -hmm. I said, it's just a little bit of... Uh, so you're of, really just using a little on here. You're just not, a little you're bit. You're not really making much. a crust. But I'm not the kind that likes real heavy blackened. Yeah. You yeah. want a little bit so you can flavor the fish and everything else that's in there. And right? this has so much flavor in it anyway. Power. The fish does. Ta-da, there it goes. And it's a real beautiful fish. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's your favorite fish. You know, a lot of people go fishing out here in East Texas mm -hmm. to the lakes and stuff like that. So, But, you know, tuna is one of my favorite Let me wash fishes. my hands real quick. Okay. You know, uh, you could, here we're doing a blackening on tuna, but you can also do, uh, you, could, you could take these same steaks and just uh, grill them with a little bit of lemon and salt and not the pepper and just a pinch of salt, huh? That's it. Yeah. Doesn't take much. Here's a, uh, here's a question we get all the time. How do you know when fish is done? Well, to be honest with you, it's yeah. up to you. Okay. How do you like your fish? Okay. You like your fish medium rare, which means pink in the middle, which mm -hmm. you know we can eat raw fish. See, people are not used to that. They think that I have to cook this fish till it's all the way It done. used to be that way, but yeah. a lot of times most of these fish, uh, fish are farm fed, so they're so, actually natural. So, so, so a lot of times when you go to a Chinese, uh, uh, Japanese restaurant, you go eat sushi, which is mm -hmm. raw fish. Yeah. So, I mean, a nice tuna, You me, per, I prefer a tuna medium rare. Yes. Because yeah. tuna seems to dry a little bit, especially if it's a frozen product. You know, it's so 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 if you if you uh, if you cook tuna too long, it's going to dry it out. Okay. Beautiful. So this is nice. So now we're going to lower the heat. Okay, and we're just going right. to let it cook a little bit, and then we're going to flip it over in a little in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now one thing that I want to bring up is the uh, w when the we barley. do our barley. Yeah. So here is what the recipe calls for: two cups of barley. Okay. Now. We did it, we cooked it, mm -hmm. um, two, uh, two cups of barley, four cups of water, two mm -hmm. to one, almost like rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how long do we want to cook? We want to bring it to a boil and then let it simmer. Okay. Simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes, no yep. more than that, because we want it, the, we want the rice to be, I mean the barley to be almost al dente, okay? Yes, yes. Almost there. Let, let, let the middle be almost done. Almost done, so. And that's, so and this is what, this is our, what it turned out to be. And then we just shut the, 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 mm -hmm. the fire off. It's and almost a little crunchy. Exactly, because mm -hmm. we're going to saute it in a minute. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So and you we're know, just going to let it rest. This grain has a, a delicious nutty flavor. In fact, I could enjoy that just with a little bit of margarine and, and oh, some yeah. pepper. I mean, it'd be, a good, it'd be a good side just all on its own. Okay, so it's beautiful. nice slow. That's beautiful. We're going to go okay. ahead and put it in the oven. Okay, keep it warm. Keep it warm. All you right, know, so, so what, what you want to do next? So next, we're gonna get started. We got our fish going. Yeah. We got our barley going. Okay. It's almost ready, by the way. Yeah. And then let's get ready for our stir fry. Okay. How, what do you think All about right. that? And our stir fry is real, real, real simple. We're gonna put that. Right we're gonna put this right here. We got one of these old-fashioned walks. You see now, that, Tim? Now, Plug-in walk. Now don't tell Chef Mike that you've got an old-fashioned walk. <laughs> Actually, Mike loaned it to us. Um, I'm so gonna, I'm gonna, gonna set us up on kind of high, about 375. Beautiful. Okay. So, so we're rolling there. Our recipe is gonna call for a little bit of broccoli, okay. uh, snow peas, uh, red peppers, green peppers, a little bit of mushrooms, okay. some carrots. Uh, we got some uh, water chestnuts, some green okay. onions, and of course we got f ginger. Mm, okay. And I got some fresh ginger, which you, yeah. you buy it locally. It's it's a root plant. Now, and show it, and show it us this. Okay. It doesn't take much. All okay, right. so if you don't mind, Tim, I'm gonna put this down here for a few okay. minutes because I'm a, right. I want to show a little thing. Yeah, yeah, here. because you know, ginger is one of those fresh ginger is one of those things that we don't we don't use a lot. You here don't, and you Texas. really don't need a lot because yeah. what you can do is two things. One's you just buy a root, mm 
-hmm. you know it's not that expensive and just keep it in your refrigerator mm -hmm. and I mean it, there's a lot ginger goes a long ways mm -hmm. with a lot of things so I can smell it it has a real uh, strong smell it's a it's a pleasing smell it's a very pleasing smell you know ginger uh, has a history of uh, I mean it's used throughout the East in India and the Orient as a, as both as a spice and as a uh, traditional medicine ginger so uh, a ginger tea is used uh, for nausea. I believe you. It smells so good. So, so what I did now was just I uh, sliced it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to come back. Now this, you can grate this, this if you to like. Heat up. Would you like me to put some oil in there? Yeah, put a little bit of olive oil. Very little because okay. we're just, just going to do a quick stir fry. Okay. It does smell wonderful, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Then here I have some fresh garlic. And one thing you asked me is, yes. Manny, how do you peel garlic? And I'm going to show you real quick. Well, and I'll show you as we, we're doing our stir fry. Now, I have to, now, tell, I have to tell the story that, you know, uh, we're always using fresh garlic in our recipes. And so here I am at home because, you know, it's, I, I'm learning on this. So uh, I'm patiently peeling these garlics. And finally, I thought there's got to be an easier way to this. And so I was talking to Chef, uh, Chef Mike, actually. And uh, I said, okay, so what's the easy way? And, you know, he told me to, now you're going to show us another way. Yeah, he, m m somewhat he does. Yeah. Well, what, what Chef Mike told me was, he said, okay, so you just take this garlic like this. And he said, just put it on a, a cutting board. And may I? And, yeah, sure. And use the flat of your knife. And smash and it. And then just kind of push it down. And then, and it's not hard. And then it just peels right off. And it, it, it also, yeah, and it does, it breaks out the, the Maybe heart of the... Maybe mash it a little bit more. There we go. Put a little more weight. I think I yeah. got more weight than you. Yeah. No. Well, <laughs> so... Believe it or not, this is a lot easier than what I was doing. Now, you're going to show us another way. You know what's good garlic about? What? There makes it is. Your, right there. For all the ladies, it makes their nails strong. I didn't know that. Yeah, it makes your huh. nails strong. So trust smells me, it wonderful. smells so, so good. Okay, now show me, show me, and you said you had another way. Uh, let me get, yeah, let me get this one going real quick. Now, on the broccoli, it calls for broccoli florets. What I like to do, just like in the Asian restaurant, is just cut the broccoli florets in half. Okay. It really looks nice on the plate. Yeah. Okay, so I got some of that. I got snow peas. I got all that stuff. Okay. Now, one of the our ca uh, camera gen uh, gentlemen here was wondering what this was. And yes. This right here is bok choy. Bok choy, okay. Now, so there's two kinds. There's a baby bok choy, which I personally prefer, prefer but okay. the only thing I could find right now was this, you know, bok choy, which is really good. Now, the secret to this is that we can use it from here all the way up. Okay. It's almost like greens. Yes. You can use really the whole plant. You clean it, you know, do it everything real nice and neat. So, we're going to have this. But what I'm going to do now because I really like the green part of it, is this one. Now, I, this one right here, this bok choy, what I did was I rinsed it in water, the whole plant. Okay. I kept it there and shook it and mm -hmm. did everything to it. So this is all nice nice and clean. So this is what we're, I want to show you about this part of it. All right. Now show me, before you go any further, I wanted to see your way of doing garlic because we wanted to show, we were always showing people how to... Uh, well, first of all, when you have a big head like this, mm -hmm. just grab your hand and just go like this. Smash it. Oh, right? okay. Now, I'll see, separate, I didn't I'll know that. i separate them because, you know, sometimes it does get hard. Yeah, yeah. Just get the bottom of it. It separates them all real okay. quick. Okay. All right. Now, it also depends on how fresh your garlic is. Yeah. When your garlic is really fresh, what I like to do, grab your knife, okay. cut, the, cut that little bit off. Yeah. And, and usually, this one's kind of dry a little bit, but usually, uh -oh. there you go. Oh. See? We'll try the other one. <laughs> Usually, you just squeeze the bottom of it, and sometimes they just fall off. It'll just come right come out. Come right out of the shell, just like that. And, and it works better if they're drier, huh? Well, it works, no, or oilier. If, oh, if they're, they're fresher. If they're fresher, okay. So, I mean, like I said, it's now just... see, that took you no time. And no here time. I've been patiently yeah, you peeling kinda, this garlic, and it just takes forever. I knew there was an easier So, way. again, if you just press down... It gets you them know, all. It everybody gets it has all. their favorite. Yeah, I mean, I, li yeah. I like to dig it because it really does make your nails strong. So trust me, okay. my little girl enjoys helping me in the kitchen just when it comes to garlic. 
Yeah. Nothing else. Onions make her cry, and she she can't understand why I don't cry. And I said, if you only knew how many onions I've done, you get so used to it. So uh, that's my pref preference. Okay, Tim. First thing, or ginger. And then we're gonna add a little. I like to add a little bit of garlic. Remember, I don't like garlic mm -hmm. first, but this time I do. Just to, just to flavor that oil. We're gonna do a little carrots. Okay. So here, what you're doing is you're you're doing the hard vegetables first. Right? Right, because I want okay. it I want it all crisp. Okay. There's our broccoli. Look at the color there. Isn't it's gonna be beautiful? really nice. I got some nice mushrooms here. Mmm. Now when it comes to mushroom, you use whatever mushroom you like, right? Okay. Now we could slice these or whole. I like them whole. Okay, you know, and slicing them is, is a, really nice. This, this is, is a water chestnut. Che water chestnut. So we're gonna save that for last, okay? Okay. And then you've got some good uh, a green, green onion onions, over which there. I'm saving for last. Okay. So we're gonna actually lightly saute this. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when when we were talking about this recipe, and you said, you know, Tim, you could take just a little bit of bok choy, and a very simple dish, just saute it with some, uh, uh, just some pepper, say, some pepper, olive oil, garlic, garlic yeah. and pepper, and that's it. Yeah. I mean, it is so good. I went home and I did this very thing, and now I added onion to it. Okay. Okay, and that's it, that's fine. That's fine. And then I served it with some uh, brown rice. It was delicious, just like it was. Now, if we had a, a baby buck chow, next time you go to the store, look look yeah. for it. But the baby buck chow is usually about this about big. About that big, okay. So what I like to do is just cut the root off and then cut it in half, and that's it. Just saute it Just lightly. like you did with those a broccoli, bit of ginger, broccoli just like florets. I thought. Okay. So what, what I'm going to do with this, just like when we did the uh, cut it just in. You're kind of cutting it lengthways. Lengthways. Okay. Because okay. you want some, some ribbons. I want you some body create, to it. I'm yeah. going to cut it in half just because it, we're doing trying to get it real done. But I want it big. I want to be able to enjoy it. See? Yeah. It looks yeah. so good. Yeah. I love what do you think that. about that? You know, bok choy is in the uh, brassica family. And, you know, that's like the family of uh, broccoli and uh, uh, cabbage. And these, this family of vegetables... Uh, 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 inhibits cancer growth. And that's good. So, too. yeah, this is an anti cancer food. Ooh, it's beautiful, man. Now, on bok choy. You want this it's, one? No? At, in the last minute. And bok choy, what about if I'm in some type of medications like cumin? Well, now that's. It is true. a very deep green vegetable, yeah. so we have to be careful about that. That's true. Yeah, so but we can use everything else, though. Yep. I mean, the carrots, the mushrooms, the yep. bell peppers are yep. really good for you. Maybe leave uh, the broccoli out. Okay, what about yep. the uh, white part of the. Uh, Green. Is that uh, something that we no, may no, still, it as would, your dietitian, it, as your doctor? Yeah, if you were if you were on Coumadin medicine, you, you wouldn't use any part of the the green. Choy, okay, yeah. and that's yeah. good to know because yeah. I do get asked a lot of those questions, and mm -hmm. you know, it's like, well, you know, we'll we'll get together and we'll discuss it as well. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I mean, this is a really nice mm -hmm. plate. The uh, the bok choy will wilt real fast, so you want to make sure everything else is cooked, and then we'll add to it. Okay. Okay. And All you right. ask me about this, I like the last. The green onion. The green onions, and of course the snow, the snow peas. peas. Now. And you didn't do anything with those, you're just using Actually, no, we, I, we cleaned them, yeah, we cleaned them. But I mean, you didn't cut them or anything. No, no, just, uh, whole. We yeah. want to do that. Now, when you clean them, I uh, wish I had a couple of them, but just take the top off and just take that string heart out of, oh. of the okay. snow pea, okay? Right. Okay. And this one? And the buck and the uh, water chestnuts. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you can slice them. You can do whatever you like, just to make it crispy. That's what we're doing. Now, in this dish, one of the ways that we made this lower in sodium was is we started with the light soy sauce. You have to be careful about that because light soy sauce is still very high in sodium. Exactly. And so, what we, the way we uh, lower the sodium is is we cut it half and half with water. So, so I got a little bit of water, Tim. Yeah. So about three tablespoons of water, three tablespoons of soy sauce, uh, and that's that's what that's how we reduce the sodium on this. Oh, this is smelling wonderful. It is, and beautiful color. So now this is going to help kind of steam it up a little bit. Yeah. And this is where you save this for last, and boom, 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 one, we're out. Okay. And then. If you want to, we can we can add the. Uh, Ready for this one? Yeah, let's add okay. this one because this is nice and hot, and we want to flavor it. If you don't mind, just go ahead and I'm gonna pull it to the side right here. Let me trade with you. Okay. Okay. While it's hot and steamy, because really all we're doing is just really mixing it together. Okay. Now we can saute this separate if you like with a little bit of ginger garlic, but we got most of the flavor here. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. beautiful. Is that what uh, you want? Yeah. Okay. 
Look at this. You want this back? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. So you see how that works like a rice, only in this case, what you're doing is you're getting a good whole grain uh, that's uh, just something different. I think everyone's going to really enjoy this one when they oh, come to our beautiful. diabetic cooking class. And, yeah. You know, because this, this, the smell of it just itself is so great. You know, we do that cooking class. The combination class. of Go ginger ahead. and garlic, olive oil. Yes. And then the aroma so of everything else. Yeah, yeah. I love it. We, uh, we do that class uh, the third Thursday of every month, so that's coming up here in a little bit. I'm going to put this to the side, Tim. Okay. Right here at Memorial, uh, it's a $5 nominal charge, but that includes your lunch, and you get to smell the flavor, smell and the flavors. And go over our techniques and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And yep. feel free to ask any questions you yep. have concerning your food or any diets or, or just, you yep. know, questions to a dietitian. So that's a good thing. Call and make a reservation, 7585-639-7585. So what do you think about this, Tim? Oh, this is beautiful. Just love it. Okay. All right, and so... We're going to lower this real quick. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we've got our, our vegetable barley stir-fry. We've got our, uh, uh, our uh, blackened tuna. Sorry, Tim. That's all right. So... Uh, you know, what I want to do is, I, uh, okay, I bought some barley at the grocery store this weekend because we started talking about this, and, and I want to start just playing around with uh, how can I substitute barley for some other uh, starches. Let me take that. Yeah, if you don't okay. mind. I'm going to put it right here. You can, okay. can leave it okay. right here for a minute. Okay. So that, that's beautiful, isn't it? Nice yep. color. Yeah. If you don't mind, I'm going to put this here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it off, Tim, yep. with our tuna. Oh, this is good. Oh, my goodness. It's beautiful. Look at that. Now show what me I what like to do, okay. and we talked about it, Tim, when you asked me how you like your tuna. Well, I told you I like my tuna more on the medium rare side. Okay. And trust me, I, that's what I tell the staff. You got to try it once. Mm -hmm. Then you can tell me you like it or don't. Yeah. I would say that 90% of the time they're like, wow. This is just such a mild fish. We had this one. You know, we think of tuna as canned tuna, and it's, it's strong flavored in the can. But whenever it's like this, it's not strong. It's, it's a real. I mean, it's, it's a, a really it's a nice delicate flavor. This one fell, but it's still. I mean, the color alone. It's beautiful. Medium rare, right? Oh, that's beautiful. So, what do you think about that? Tim? Oh, I love it. You're making me hungry. I know. It smells so wonderful, and mm -hmm. you know the combination of the stir fry, the ginger, the garlic, the black beans, and you can't beat that. All right, Tim. Okay. Now we're ready for our chocolate peanut bar. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, okay. what are we going to do? So, I got some roll oats. Yep. All right, so we're going to go ahead and roast the roll oats right okay. here, okay? All if you right. don't mind, just kind of once in a while, just smooth it out like this, okay? Okay, all right. We're going to do that. And then on this one, I am going to mix my chocolate now. Okay. It calls for a third cup of chocolate chip, so I'm going to go ahead and throw my chocolate chip. Now, there's another way we could do this, too. All right. That is, we can heat up the oven, yep. all right? Throw the oats in a nice baking pan. Okay. And throw it in the oven while we concentrate on this. Oh, Because okay. if not, you and I will be going like, okay, what's yeah. going on? All right. Yeah, so and that, that's a and good that thing. one you got to stir too because or it'll burn. Or, huh? you know, do this and then stop. Once you let this cool down, then we, you can start with this. Because, you know, chocolate, boom, one, two, three. Okay. So once we're getting our chocolate melted, which is looking good. Yeah. We're going to add our butter. Okay, and you want to save just a little bit of that chocolate, or are you going to do another one for your drizzle? No, I'm going to save a little bit of this chocolate for my drizzle, okay? Okay, all right. Before I add everything else, because we just want to dress it up a, a little bit, okay? And you now I'm going to save it in here, okay? Okay. So I'm, I'm mixing in it really good. Now you know, my this, spatula here. This dessert is the perfect combination of a sweet, uh, a rich flavor from the butter and health. You've got dark chocolate, you've got uh, rolled oats, you've got strawberries. So this is, this is a perfect example of what we do here on Memorial Cooking Innovations. Kind of combining a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And, and finding nice, a perfect rich balance. chocolate flavor. Okay? Look at that beautiful So chocolate. I'm just going to separate a little bit for our drizzle later, okay? I'm okay. going to have to heat it up again, but okay. I'm just going to say very little. Okay. All right. Now we got... Peanut butter. Now, Ooh, okay. our peanut butter is? It's just, a, it's just a natural peanut butter. In fact, when you go to the store, you can go to Brookshire's. Brookshire's, one of our sponsors, makes it possible for us to bring this to you. Uh, look for a peanut butter that in the ingredients just says peanuts. No salt, no sugar. And then no preservatives, no yeah. nothing. It's yeah. just peanuts. 
And Isn't really, it? it is just peanuts, which brings a nice little flavor. You got the chocolate, the peanut. Smells delicious. It does. You know, peanut butter and chocolate just goes well together anyway. Okay, so we're mixing this very well. Yeah. Then we're gonna add our brown sugar. Okay, add a little bit of brown sugar. A little bit, a little bit of brown sugar, Tim. And so you still have that sweet, but it's not a lot. It's not a lot. It's just enough to kind of balance it out. Keep stirring it, yep. mixing yep. it well. We also want to thank our friends at the city of Lufkin. You know, they distribute, oh, they yeah. film and distribute the show to cities across Texas. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you all. You know, uh, we had uh, we had someone call in. Uh, Mrs. Beard called in, and she watched the show last last uh, time. And in fact, she says she watches the show all the time. We appreciate that, Mrs. Beard. And we had a very nice conversation about nuts. She was calling in about the uh, the walnuts that we had talked about on the last show uh, being uh, recalled. And that was just for institutional walnuts. So don't be afraid to use walnuts in, from the grocery store. Yeah, if, if you have any questions, just ask just call your us. managers or, or you know the grocery manager and ask them. Yeah. But, uh, you know, sometimes you know, it's, it's one of those duck. We had that, you know, the peanut butter. Thing. Yes, that's With right. The peanuts, you know, the, it's just precaution. Yeah. Which they did a great job because they found where, the, where it came from and all that stuff. So it's a good thing. We had another uh, 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 viewer, uh, Reverend James Young in Nacogdoches. He said, uh, you know, I watched y'all's show, and you know what he said about you, Chef Manny? What did he say? He said, that Chef Manny really knows his stuff. Well, that's nice of him. So, yeah, yeah. I got mine done. How about okay, you? Okay, these guys are ready. Take They're ready. Okay, so what do we do next? So, then we can we can put it all in here, okay. right? And we're going to mix it together. Okay. And toss it together, and then we're going to spread it in here, okay? All right. We're going to fix it real quick. Okay. And you know what? It's chocolate. It's got the peanut. It's mm -hmm. got all the good stuff. Oh, this smells. I could eat this just with a spoonful. Yeah. This will be a nice buffet. So, we're just, if you don't mind this, Tim. Like that? Yeah. We're just gonna spread this out, okay? And then we'll throw it in the refrigerator real quick, okay? Because uh, we don't want it in the refrigerator too long, okay? Look, yep. That looks very Ready nice, cool doesn't down. it? Beautiful, yeah. Just make it nice and smooth. Look at that. Ooh, that's beautiful. Like I said, in just a few seconds, we don't want it too cold so it'll sweat the chocolate. We just want it to cool it down and harden itself. So while you, you know, finish so, up. So you're going to dice those strawberries. I'm just going to dice those strawberries. While you're doing that, I wanted to tell everyone, you know, if you didn't see on the last show where Chef Manny showed us how to sharpen knives, it's a really good uh, segment. You can go watch that on memorialhealth.org. Uh, you can also download all our recipes. You also see our recipes both in Lufkin Daily News and also the, the Daily Sentinel up in Nacogdoches. Uh, and so as we've... Uh, Today, what we've learned is how to peel that garlic in a quick and easy way. You've seen Chef Manny do a blackened tuna that is not high sodium, so that's kind of a nice. Well, yeah, and a good thing about it, we made a little extra seasoning so we can keep just gonna, for about anything. I can eat that for supper tonight. Exactly. Like I said, remember, yeah. put it in your dressing, put it yeah. in, you know, just the blackened seasoning goes good a long ways. And, and, we and then, of course, our dessert. This is awesome. Yeah, it's beautiful. Be uh, uh, you've got that red valentine. Uh, have, have you bought your girlfriend a Valentine present yet? No, not yet, you but know, I it's guarantee you up. when the show comes out, it will be done. Okay, all right. And then, then you saw uh, Chef Manny do a stir-fry using barley instead of rice. What a novel idea. Can't wait till you and I sit down there and eat it. Yeah, yeah. We've okay, got too so, many people put an eye on that one. So here's that part where... Yeah, stir it real good and we'll yeah, just drizzle it. It'll drizzle. harden up a... Yeah. And some, you may have to reheat this, but, but all I'm going to do now, in your recipe, you probably could do this better than me. Yeah, you just got to do it a little quicker. Okay. I mean, I'm sorry, okay. Tim, but Okay, you anyway. do it. You do it. Yeah, there we go. That's why we have it a might, chef on this show. It might need to just harden. You got to do There you pass. go. You see oh, how I you see. Drizzle it I like see. That? Yeah, yeah. This is like when you get the, the plate back from the chef and it's, and it's, uh, uh, yeah. it's like someone made a mess on it. Only. <laughs> but it's an art. It's yes, an art. it is. It is that artistic. Is an art. Okay. Beautiful. Right. So we are done. All right. So join us next time on Memorial Cooking Innovation as the adventure continues. continues.